So, um, with 802.11ad and other advancements in Wi-Fi, and also with advancements in millimeter wave uh, range, some of the challenges that the customers are facing are the over-the-air measurements. They don't have, they have to make now connectorless measurements. They are used to connector measurements in, in sub six gigahertz. But with connectorless measurements and over-the-air measurements, there are quite a few challenges that the customer are facing in terms of calibration. How do they path loss calibration over the air? In terms of beam forming, and in terms of multiple, uh, with the multiple uh, beam forming and multiple antennas, how they can handle, and also with RFIC and face antenna array together, they couldn't separate where, when they see an issue, they could not separate where the issue has happened. What Keysight has provided here is a solution to solve some of these problems. We have created a fully calibrated test set that can help you measure the 1180 uh, specifications. So we have a base set, a test set, that does a two gig wideband analysis, both modulation and demodulation. It does it at the IF intermediate frequency range, six gigahertz to 17 gigahertz. And it has six ports to which you can connect a millimeter wave transceiver. The millimeter wave transceiver does the up conversion and down conversion to 55 gigahertz to 68 gigahertz. With six heads supported, you can do the beam forming tests. You can, for the production environment, you can do fast beam forming by keeping these heads in different locations. By having the base box having an intermediate frequency, using a coupler, you can do simultaneous RF and IF measurement, allowing you to isolate where the issue has happening, whether it is in the baseband IF or whether it is in the RFIC chip. Another capability that we provide, it's, it's completely calibrated and it has a really flat EVM performance for a wide dynamic range. From zero to minus 35 dBm, we have an EVM of less than minus 30, both in the transmit and the receiver. This allows you to focus more on the device and you can, instead of having to calibrate and understand uh, clean the issues, doing corrections and things like that. You don't have to be worried about that. That's handled by our test set and you can focus on making measurements and validating your device for uh, versus 802.11ad specification. To get more information about the test set and also understand more specifications, please visit www.keysight.com slash find slash E7760A. Thank you.